Rishi Sanskrit, R -C -I -A -S -T, R -C, is a Vedic term for an inspired poet of hymns from the Vedas. Post-Vedic tradition of Hinduism regards the rishis as seers, great sadhus, or sages, who after intense meditation tapas realized the supreme truth and eternal knowledge, which they composed into hymns. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The word Rishi yogi, phra rusi, lao, thai, phra vasi may be derived from two different meanings of the root rsh. Sanskrit grammarians derive this word from the second meaning, to go, to move. Vsapte gives this particular meaning and derivation, and Monier Williams also gives the same, with some qualification. Another form of this root means, to flow, to move near by flowing. All the meanings and derivations cited above are based upon Sanskrit English dictionary of Monier Williams. Monier Williams also quotes Taranatha, who compiled the great Sanskrit to Sanskrit dictionary named Arsati Jnanena Samsara Param, i.e., one who reaches beyond this mundane world by means of spiritual knowledge. More than a century ago, Monier Williams tentatively suggested a derivation from doctors to see. Monier Williams also quotes the Hibernian Irish form arson a sage, a man old in wisdom an era old, ancient, aged as related to Rishi. Monier Williams also conjectures that the root drish to see might have given rise to an obsolete root rish meaning to see. However, the root has a close Avestan cognate arsis, an ecstatic. See also Eurydivy, Vates. Yet the Indo-European dictionary of Julius Pokorny connects the word to a pi root asterisk h3 or s meaning rise, protrude, in the sense of excellent, and thus cognate with rda and right and asha. In Sanskrit, forms of the root rish become arsh in many words, e.g., arsh. Modern etymological explanations such as by Manfred Meyerhofer in his etymological dictionary leave the case open, and do not prefer a connection to ars. Poor, flow. High asterisk h one ers rather one with German rosin, to be ecstatic, be in a different state of mind, and perhaps Lithuanian arsis. Some of the earliest lists of rishi are found in Jaimaniya Brahmana verse 2.218 and Brihadaranyaka Upanishad verse 2.2.6. Topic: <laughs> Seer of the Vedas. In the Vedas, the word denotes an inspired poet of Vedic hymns. In particular, R.C. refers to the authors of the hymns of the Rigveda. Post-Vedic tradition regards the rishis as sages or saints, constituting a peculiar class of divine human beings in the early mythical system, as distinct from asuras, devas and mortal men. Swami Vivekananda described rishi s as mantra drashtas or the seers of thought. He told the truth came to the rishis of India, the mantra drashtas, the seers of thought, and will come to all rishis in the future, not to talkers, not to book swallowers, not to scholars, not to philologists, but to seers of thought. The notable female rishikas who contributed to the composition of the Vedic scriptures are the Rig Veda mentions Romasha, Lopamudra, Apala, Kadru, Visvavara, Gosha, Juhu, Vagambrini, Palomi, Yami, Indrani, Savitri, and Devayani. The Sama Veda adds Noda, Akrishtabhasha, Sikatanivavari, and Gapayana. In Mahabharata 12, on the other hand, there is the post Vedic list of Marichi, Atri, Angiris, Palaha, Kratu, Palastya, and Vashista. The Mahabharata list explicitly refers to the Saptarshis of the first Manvantara and not to those of the present Manvantara. Each Manvantara had a unique set of Saptarshi. In Harivamsha 417 ff, the names of the rishis of each Manvantara are enumerated. In addition to the Saptarshi, there are other classifications of sages. In descending order of precedence, they are Brahmarshi, Maharshi, Rajarshi. Devarsa, Paramarsi, Shrutarsi and Kandarsi are added in Manumariti IV 94 and 11 236 and in two dramas of Kalidasa. The Chitarvarga Chintamani of Hemadri puts Risi at the seventh place in the eightfold division of Brahmanas. 
Amarakosha, the famous Sanskrit synonym lexicon compiled by Amarasimha, mentions seven types of rishis: Shrutarshi, Kandarshi, Paramarshi, Maharshi, Rajarshi, Brahmarshi, and Devarshi. Amarakosha strictly distinguishes rishi from other types of sages, such as sannyasi, bhiksu, parivrajika, tapasvi, muni, brahmachari, yati, etc. Rishi in Indonesia and Khmer temples Most medieval era Hindu temples of Java, Indonesia show Rishi Agastya statues or reliefs, usually guarding the southern side of Shaivite temples. Some examples include Kandi Sambasari and the Prambanan temple near Yogyakarta. Rishi Agastya is known as Phra Ryuzi Akat in Thailand. Rusi in Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar and Laos Rusi Sanskrit, RC, Khmer, Thai, Visi Lao. As a hermit sage, the equivalent of Rishi in India, in Myanmar, there are some known as, Rays. Other uses Rishi is also a male given name, and less commonly a Brahmin last name. In Carnatic music, Rishi is the seventh chakra group of Melakarta ragas. The names of chakras are based on the numbers associated with each name. In this case, there are seven rishis and hence the seventh chakra is Rishi. The descendant families of these rishis, refer to their ancestral lineage through their family, Gotra. This is a common practice among the Brahmin sects of the current Hindu society. The name, Rishi, pronounced, Rusi, is also the basis of one of the letters of the Thai alphabet, so R-E-U-C Thai S-V See also <laughs> Notes <laughs>